Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would take you around our home and show you the 10 things that we love most about our renovation. Some of these are items that the builder put in when the building work was being done, but others are little add-ons that we have added in since the work has finished. I honestly get asked so much what things I would recommend to get when people are renovating, but make sure you're subscribed because I'm also going to be filming a video of 10 regrets that we have in this home too. I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's go round our house. So the first thing I wanted to share with you that we just love and it's something we would choose time and time again is our staircase. This is from Stairbox. This is an oak staircase obviously with embedded glass in it too. You can get embedded or clamped glass but I thought the embedded just looked a little bit more modern because the clamped one you have a um, little sort of steel clasps. The steel clasps would kind of hold the glass here and they'd link the two pieces but this one that we've got the glass actually like embeds down into the staircase. So like I said this is an oak staircase and then we got a nice runner to go up the middle of the staircase. This staircase was two and a half thousand pounds including that but if we'd just gone for an MDF spindle staircase it probably would have been about one thousand six hundred pounds. So for an oak staircase I don't feel like this was that much more and obviously instead of the spindles we got the nice glass and I feel like having the glass just really opens up the space more I feel like there's more light bouncing around which is able to then come through the glass and into the hallway a little bit more as well so yeah I absolutely love our staircase so much and this like I said is something I would choose time and time again right next I wanted to share our front door so this is a Marmite door I know lots of people are like oh don't like that at all but we love it it was an expensive part of our build but we do feel like it was totally worth it. This door was from a company called RK Door Systems. So on the inside, as you can see, it's black. We had a little peep hole put in it here and we have our letterbox down there and then we've got like a nice sort of streamlined handle that goes with it. It's all black, which is in keeping with the rest of our home because we've got lots of black fixtures and fittings. But then on the front, it is a really nice, almost like a kind of brushed metal effect and this is actually a proper metal plate that has been put on the front of our front door this door was not cheap it was definitely an extravagance and it's something we decided on quite close to the beginning of our build so we kind of were in the process where we had the budget to splash out on this door it's a pivot front door this is one and a half meters wide as well so you can fit any furniture you like through here without having to dismantle it Next up, I wanted to show you our sliding doors. These are from Ultraline and again, I absolutely love them. They're a really thin profile sliding door, even where the locking system is, is really thin profile as well. As you can see, this is the kind of thickness, it's 20 mil thick between each pane of glass. And then over here where the doors lock, because we have an electric locking system for these doors, we don't have to have a big chunky side area here with the handle, which would house the locking system instead. So like I said, these are electric locking and we have the locks over by the entrance of our little kitchen diner room. So when we come down in the mornings, we simply press the locks, which unlock the doors and then we can open them up. These doors are like multi-sliders. So as you can see, the frame is quite thick. If you would only want your doors to slide one way, then you can have part of these sliders sort of blocked in with panels. But because our doors slide both ways and they can slide into the middle as well, we had to have all of our runners exposed. This honestly is not a problem for me. I know as you can see, there's the patio isn't done yet. That's getting done very soon. Keep watching for the patio transformation video. But yeah, I feel like at first we were a bit worried that maybe people would get their feet stuck in here, but they honestly don't they just step over them so we don't actually even notice that the track is quite thick these again were a little bit of an expense they were a lot more expensive than bifolding doors however you just gain so much extra glass with these 
We originally were going to go for bifolding doors, but then when they came to measure up, they said, why don't you have sliding doors? Because instead of having to have all the different breaks in the doors, which would then obviously reduce the amount you can see out into the garden, this is just so much better. And as we live here in the UK, it's really not that often that you can open all of the doors anyway. So this works really, really well for us. If you want to get a little bit of ventilation, you can do that and it's perfectly safe. You can lock the doors in place here so you have a little bit of ventilation no one can get in they're completely secure and you can lock them in place like that to get your ventilation in if you would like it the next thing that we absolutely love about our renovation is actually not anything to do with the build it's what we put in afterwards so as you can see all of our windows are black and we have like the black front door so everything kind of ties in together we decided we didn't want to have um, shutters in our rooms we had them in our last house and they actually block out quite a lot of light and we want as much daylight and natural light to come into our home as possible so what we had put in instead were some electric blinds it looks quite dark because I'm filming out towards the natural light but they're quite sort of discreet and then what we have is these little remote controls for each room and then we've programmed it so that when we press them to go down all of the blinds come down at the same time so it feels like it's quite a luxurious feature in our home these electric blinds were actually so so much cheaper than they would have been if we had got shutters so now you can see how much they black out everything in the room so when people come and stay because this is the spare room but we do actually have these blinds in every room around our house when they come and stay in here they feel like it's quite a nice blackout room but yeah these are definitely a feature in our home which we love and which we would add again if we did another renovation i couldn't really do a favorites video without showing you guys my favorite cupboard in our kitchen so this is our coffee slash bar station we were always going to have this cupboard in the kitchen but we were just going to have normal doors that kind of open and close and then we were thinking that the doors would be in the way quite often because we would be using the station quite a lot because we like to have quite a few coffees during the day and when people come over we thought it would just be open a lot so we could kind of help ourselves to drinks and coffees so what we have done here is we asked the guy who was doing the kitchen if he could do doors that sort of tuck away and slide in so these doors are so fancy I feel like they're very very fancy for our kitchen but as you can see they slide back into a little socket and then they close really easily so we can decide whether we have it open or closed we do have this cupboard open most of the time because like I said it gets used so often but if we want to pack it away at any time it is just really easy to do so by pulling these doors which are on like really soft runners and then shutting it like that you can have your kitchen two completely different ways by adding these little slide-in doors to our kitchen they did add a bit of an expense i think they were an extra 800 pounds on top of the um, kind of unit cost and that was obviously to have the sliding mechanism that you can see there and I guess it's also to have the extra wood that's on the outside here too. But like I said, I feel like this was a kind of extra that is totally justified and we use it all the time. The next thing that we love, which was an expense, but we still feel like it's totally worth it, is our underfloor heating system. This system is by warm up and we have got underfloor heating everywhere downstairs so we don't have any radiators the only place actually we do have an extra radiator is in the downstairs bathroom but that's purely for a towel rail so like i said this is the warm-up system we went for the 16 total warm-up system which is a thin water underfloor heating system so you can put it on existing floor i know most underfloor heating systems have got the thicker pipes but because we didn't want to take up all of our floor and we didn't want to lose head height in our home we decided to go for the 16 total and it works so efficiently like i said it was expensive to like the initial outlay and then to get it laid however it's definitely more cost effective than running radiators we have our underfloor heating on low and it's on low constantly in the winter 
but it just has a really nice warmth in the house and you don't get hot spots like you would do with a radiator. So yeah, absolutely love this and would again in our next home do exactly the same system. Right, next up I wanted to share this. I wanted to show it to you full of clothes so you can see how much it can take and then I'll overlay me putting this away as well so you can see like how neatly it folds up. But basically this is a washing line from a place called Pulley Made and you can get another one from there that hangs from the ceiling but this is a great one because it just attaches to the wall and then it kind of clips up with that wooden sort of dowel and then whenever you need to hang your clothes you just pull it down and it holds quite a lot actually. So what I have also got is a clothes horse and then when sort of my washing starts to dry and I put some of it away and there's just a little bit left like there is today I will then just put it onto here so that it's nice and neat or if I've put some into the tumble dryer and I've got some that can't go into the tumble dryer they just go on here and I don't need to have like a big clothes horse out this was about 80 pounds you can get double ones which are a lot more expensive it was a little bit pricey however I use it all the time so if I'm looking at my kind of price per use it is definitely worth it I think it's a really nice looking item as well because um, it's made out of wood and yeah just feel like it's very useful and it looks very pleasing too while I am in our little laundry room I wanted to show you this as well this is definitely a huge favorite of mine our kitchen guy also made the units in this room and I showed him a picture of a little kind of pull out drawer that I wanted and then he just customized it by putting this laundry sign he's engraved this laundry sign on the front it's on a slow close and it is just perfect so this this is my tumble dryer. Once things have been in there, I just scoop them out onto my folding drawer and then I can fold things away at a really nice height so I'm not hurting my back. And then I can just lift them off, take them upstairs, push that in and everything is just nicely, neatly tucked away. The next thing that we absolutely love and are so pleased that we did, but again was an extra expense, is we had this fireplace kind of unit built in. So this was just built out of, um, so kind of like MDF wood and then this is an electric fireplace and then what we had done is we had our kitchen worktop put on the top here as well so this fireplace like I said is electric but it does give off so much lovely heat and it looks really really effective especially at night time this is a 74 inch ignite fire which is from Dimplex and it's like I said very very effective but what we had built in when the builders were here and then we had it plastered in when the plaster was here was this kind of low unit area here which I really think just breaks up the wall this has definitely added some texture to our home and it's meant we can put some nice um, plants and pictures and lamps on here to cozy the place up to have this area built in by the builders it cost us an extra 700 pounds and then to have the extra worked up on here was another 500 too and then obviously our fire was about 1200 pounds so all in all it does add up to be quite an extra expense but like I said we feel it is totally worth it so the next thing I wanted to show you in our home I'm now in the boys playroom and I need to kind of put the blinds down so I could show you the thing that I want to show you in better light so in our playroom we decided this is actually going to be kind of like a cinema room as well so we decided to get this strip lighting in here instead of the normal kind of down lighters and the reason we decided to go for this is because it, we felt like as this is going to be a cinema room it would just add a better effect in here this was Chris's choice to have these these strip lights were probably about 600 pounds more expensive than it would have been if we had got down lighters but we love them so I'm going to turn it on as you can see they just give a really really good effect in this room and they are totally dimmable as well to create a really good ambiance when you are watching a movie so those are the 10 things that we absolutely love about our home I could have probably added in another five or ten as well but I didn't want this video to be so long thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so you can see our regrets video too and I will see you guys again next time bye